Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, play online on your Xbox 360. So let's start my 360. Oops, sorry about that. So as you can see it made a noise and it uh, and it took some while to start uh, that means it's RG8 or reset glitch hacked as you know and the noise you hear is the fan that I've you know, increased the speed okay so you'll be needing a freestyle dash installed and uh, you'll be having uh, you need to have an account on xbox 360 gqe so okay let's get going uh, okay so here i have already entered my username and the password right there uh, the password I've entered it but you cannot see the password never mind so now now we head over to settings plugin settings F3 plugin click on enable link and enable UPnP port for port mapping and click on test so it's come as dev link is disabled ping patch enabled UPnP enabled router found data port status is processing broadcast port status is processing damn this too long okay so we've got this one as fail 3072 as a fail It shouldn't really be taking this long. I don't know. Some this there must be something wrong. Okay, so the authentication of the Nightmaster has passed, but the port three zero seven one three zero seven two have both failed their TCP and UDP tests. Okay, then let's see what can we do. okay so the first thing you need to do is mark your IP address take note of your IP address mine here is 192.168.1.3 okay so after that you need to switch over to your PC okay guys so the first thing you have to do on your PC is head over to link.jqe360.com now you enter in your username and password and if you don't have one you sign make sure you sign up for that page and click on remember me i want this thing to remember me okay so here you have various types of rooms you have 83 users for call of duty black ops 2 81 for call of duty ghosts i do hope that one day we'll be having gun theft or online we don't have it yet okay so then uh, you enter the details that you put in here into your xbox 360 that's the first thing so now the second thing you gotta do is uh, head over to the setup page of your router mm, and i'll show you how to find it okay guys so this is my router belongs to it's made up made of made from sterlite sam 300 ax 
just flip this over and you'll find the settings over here default access 192.168.1.1 so that's all you need I think and the username and password as well just find that written behind okay so then as you all saw mine is like 192.168.1.1 it's already entered okay so this is something that will be De differing a lot from router to router so I cannot guarantee 100% satisf satisfaction on your part but uh, head over to access management just head over to anything that has uh, UPnP written that's universal plug and play it's activated here so no problem now head over to advanced setup go to NAT virtual server okay so this thing is going to be very different on different orders it will actually you're actually left on your own on this thing my router is a starlight one so in my you have advanced setup go under NAT and then you have virtual server you might directly have things like services virtual services or servers so I cannot guarantee it okay that I have done it already I'll delete this okay now type in the application as link the protocol should be all uh, TC, both TCP and UDP if your router does not give you the ability to do that then you can uh, do the same thing twice once for TD, TCP and once for UDP okay now you put, the st put in the start port number as 3071 the end one as 3072 and the local IP address as one your the IP address of your xbox 360 so mine is like 192.168.1.3 click on save so guys uh, that's pretty much it for the things that you gotta do on your pc ok guys so after that is done we head back to settings in our freestyle dash go to settings and also uh, go to plugin settings now just see on status f3 plugin should be come as loaded and connect as plugin is not loaded i don't know about that connect x thing so never mind now let's go to f3 plugin though the link settings enable link so we'll have a look at the data port i don't really know if you can see it it's 3072 and the broadcast port is 3071 so now we click on enable rss feed and hud now we click on test qpnp enabled now i'm getting a direct direct pass for this I'm getting port 3070 TCP pass and UDP pass. I'm getting port 3071 TCP pass and UDP pass. Okay, so now, now what we do is go back, back. Make sure link is loaded, huh? So we go to Xbox games. let's take black ops black ops 2 okay. so the first thing so you start the game now let the game like load load till the menu now now you click on your home button the this this option should be this option should be selectable system link option click on it click a oh oh okay 
you gotta have a look at this thing uh your title thai t u means t stands for title update i'm ha i have zero uh, then this title update 15 available so then knowledge anyway so this is pretty much what you do let me show you how to install the title updates anyway so you click on a click a this yellow thing i'm getting that's because of the title update Never mind, let's head back to freestyle home. Okay, so let it load. Updates available. Okay, now we go to Xbox 360 games. Let's have Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now we press Y, Y on our controller. And select Manage Title Updates, the second last one. Yes. And press A. Now we'll click on. Mm, now the top one is version 15 we click on set active now we restart the game and then you're good to go click on play game okay guys so if i did help you in any way please uh, like leave a comment and subscribe and do rgh xbox 360 and i totally recommend it because you have to play loads of games for free and with services like this you can play online as well so we click on system link okay so i'm i've been having this problem since a lot of time uh, I'll I surely should I'll surely will get back to you as to this because Chi version I'm com constantly getting it as zero in front of me you saw like that I had 15 installed never mind you should not be getting this issue because I've tested this on many other Xbox 360s and mine is the only one that's getting the issue so there's not a problem but I'll I'll be getting back to you anyways then what do you do you enjoy your game probably so the campaign i selected the wrong device anyways so i have like played this game for a lot of time on I've like used Link for a lot of time on other Xbox 360s. Oh, I'm, I finished the game. It's back to zero. Never mind, guys. So I hope you had fun watching this video, and please do like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. It really will help me a lot. Thank you.